Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Doc, coming at y'all doing the third video of the night. This is the third and final Grammy review video for the DocReport.tv, second annual Grammy review special and everything like that. Now, I said, I know I said the last video was going to be the last video, but I didn't know I was going to be talking that long, but this video, I'll be talking about the Grammy fashions and some of the great moments that show the overall, you know, benediction, the overall final conclusion, final remarks of the show and everything like that. Now, um, then I'm going to talk about the Grammy U, which is very good for you young people, so I'm going to talk about that. But some of the fashions, though, Beyonce, of course, looking amazing, looking phenomenal, very beautiful with the dress, the, the dress was like form-fitting, very hot and everything. And then not only that, but um, her performance dress was good. It was very hot, very great. And then this other dress she had on, too, was great, too. So Beyonce really did a great job tonight, you know, and it wasn't me or the... I don't know if my eyes were, like, twinkling or something, but she had, like, some tinsel in her hair or something. Like, yeah, so shout out to Beyonce for that special edition lace wig, lace front. That's very hot. And um, shout out to Jay-Z, too. Jay-Z had a dope, a dope suit, too. This suit was very great. Um, Carrie Hilson, very hot, very lovely. Tony Braxton, now, let me tell you all about Tony Braxton, now. I've been having a crush on Tony for the longest, like, ever since the Tony Braxton album. Ever since I was four years old and I watched the Breathe Again video, I don't know what it was, but I really had a crush on her. And then, like, one of the first albums I purchased by myself with my money that I made was Tony Braxton's Secrets. I had been six years old, and this is when I really started getting into music. This is when I really started appreciating music. And this is when I just had the love for it, and I really wanted to start working with music and everything. So I bought that um, cassette from Target out in Greenbrier when it first opened up. I'm going to tell y'all like it is. I really remember that moment. <laughs> I purchased that. And, um, I had a crush on her then. And then from the heat to the rest of the, I, I kind of fell off of her from more than a woman. Hit the freeway was a hot joint, though. But, I mean, Tony is just that amazing, timeless beauty. And she and, her, and she's in her 40s. I mean, she is hot and the haircut and everything. And remember that dress she had at the old one Grammys too. The white. This is the yeah, the J Lo's dress, the green Versace and everything. Tony had this hot white dress on that was bananas, basically bananas. So shout out to Tony Braxton. And she's single now, so I'm I'm trying to put a bid in. <laughs> but nah, um, what she had. Um, John Legend suit was very hot too. Um, Mary J. Blige looking very good too. You know, I like to call her Aunt Lou in the Woods. You know, her on the wood swag is always getting proper. And then, also got a shout out, um, her Anita Baker haircut. I like to call her Anita J. Blige. So, those are my little name, nicknames for Mary. Um, and someone said Mary kind of gave, so someone gave Sierra like this look. At, I don't know, I got to look back at the pre-show. I recorded it, but I stepped away, so I'm going to have to look at it and see what was really going down. But, um, I heard it was a little drama. But, um, some other great names, Rihanna. You know, I said she had a Bjork moment. I said she probably hit up Bjork's closet real decent. And her white dress was hot, though, at the end of the day. Um, Jennifer Hudson, the black suit, man, she was looking amazing in that black suit. Especially she just had a baby and everything. She looked good. And, um, and I don't know what this whole thing about having a, a split in her bangs. Y'all, y'all, a mess. Y'all, I love my followers. I'm telling y'all, I love y'all. Um, so that was Jennifer Hudson looking great. Trey Song's suit was good, too. I like the black. Um, Usher, the great, you know, the great suit with the um, black and white plaid shirt. Um, very great looking. Maya did her thing, too, looking amazing. Ashanti hit the red carpet, too. She looked good. I like to give her that. Me and Soul Child had this Omega Sci-Fi moment. You know, the cute gold and purple and everything. Like, he really had this game proper set and everything. So, shout out to Me and Soul Child, Philly representative. And, um... Some other outfits. T Pain had a white tee on. Like, remember T Pain last year had the, the whole three wings, three rings moment coming on the whole circus thing with the hats and everything, the special made suit and stuff. And this year you just opened a white tee. I mean, that's just show you your career is dying down. You know, you, you're kind of down to your final days. You know, and um, you better live this moment while you can because. Jay, I'm sorry, I'm going to say it. When Jay came with DOA, he killed some careers, basically. Where is Ron Browse? Where is DJ Webstar? He, where is T-Pain? I mean, it is what it is, people. But, I mean, 
get into the other interesting outfits. Sierra had on this, like, pant, short suit, like, this short set with on um, this lace covering her that had, like, some little diamonds or whatever. It was very hot. It was interesting. Like, people were taking on it and everything. But it was very good. And someone that had an interesting outfit on was Britney Spears. Like, she skipped the red carpet, but she went to the show. I'm okay with nobody to say it. People want to hate on her. You know, of course, Joan Rivers and her uh, interchangeable face and Chloe Kardashian and, and her non credentials for giving anybody any fashion sense or whatever. They're going to go in on her probably. But I really like Britney's outfit. I really liked her outfit. She had like this lace Dolce & Gabbana short suit set thing to like Sierra had. They, their outfits were, inter were like, um, not interesting. They were kind of like the same thing. Except Sierra's was longer, and Britney's was, like, more in a dress form. But Britney looked good, though, with the brown hair, with the brunette hair and everything like that. You know, that's my white wifey, but I'm not saying she looked good just because of that. But she really genuinely looked good. Even the, even the Britney haters on Twitter were saying they liked her outfit. So that's telling you something. You know, and of course it would have been a little better for, like, the VMAs or whatever. But, you know, for the Grammys, you think all classy and stuff. But she looked good, though. Brittany did her thing, Sierra did her thing too. Another interesting outfit, Lady Gaga, of course she's the Queen of Vestra. She came riding in this black convertible with this universally wired outfit with this yellow hair and this little thing she was holding. She looked like a Christmas topping to me. She looked like the little angel on the top of the tree for Christmas. That's what Lady Gaga looked like. And then at the um when she was on the inside, not the performance, but when she you know, was waiting to see if her name would be called anymore for any more awards. She had this, like, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers type of outfit going on, this space age type thing. Only Gaga can pull that off. And a point that someone else brought up was, like, y'all hating on Britney Sierra's outfits, but if Lady Gaga wore this, y'all would call it art, but because these two are wearing it, you're, it's trash and stuff, it's whack. It's, that brought up an interesting point. So, you know, y'all leave y'all comments up here and let me know what y'all think about the whole, you know, thing right there. But, um... So that's the fashion part right there. The show as a whole, um, the show was good. Like it was better than last year, you know. Although the drama surrounding last year was even bigger than the show itself, but this year was good. All I just say, tell about the rap and R&B um, categories next year a little more, and also when you having rappers on the stage, do your research, programmers and producers and everything. Do your research and um, affiliates. When the Grammys are going on, please do not cut to no local weather stuff. Please don't. Because that's running the moment. I almost missed record of album of the year because of WTKR wanted to talk about the snow again. So please, affiliates, get up to it before y'all get sued. And also, um, so that was that right there. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much my critique for the Grammys. Um, I'm going to talk about the Grammy U real quick. If you're um a college student, and you're interested in the music field, and you're interested in, like, doing, and the Grammy U is a great program. I joined my freshman year of college when I went to Art Institute of Philadelphia, and if you're, if you're in any of these majors, art, business, journalism, marketing, accounting, communications, liberal arts, music, business, and music performing, this is the thing for you. It's a great networking opportunity. It's a great program if you want to have a, you know, if you're pursuing the music industry, any, in any aspect, behind the scenes or professional, um, like performing. And the annual membership is $25, so, I mean, that's it. And they have places in Atlanta, Chicago, they have chapters on that, in Atlanta, Chicago, Florida, Los Angeles, Memphis, Nashville, New York, Pacific Northwest, Philadelphia, San Francisco, Texas, and Washington, D.C. So if you're a college student, this is a great opportunity for you to go ahead and do that. Um, I've been missing some of the meetings because every time I go to Philly, I go when there's no meetings. So I'm going to try my best this year to go when there are meetings and everything. And you meet with celebs, too, business industry people. It's a great opportunity. So go ahead and join that. But that's the end of this video, though. I had a great time with y'all and everything. Leave y'all comments, suggestions. I'm going to be doing some more videos and everything like that. And next year we're going to have fun, too, doing this. Hopefully I'm going to try my best to go to the Grammys next year. That's my, that's my list of things to do, so. I'll see you on another video, though. Thank y'all for checking it out and everything like that. Peace.